be it his essay, this is High Priestess Ashodhara Singh. Welcome viewer, welcome to your June predictions. This week is your third week we are covering from the 16th of June to the 22nd of June. Remember, this is the week where you will be also seeing the beautiful strawberry moon, the full moon on June 21st. We will start with the central theme and then we will move to the four decks for general health, wealth and relationships. So let's do the central theme. Um, you have the card of the divine order. You have the card of the healer and you have the card of grief. If you notice, there's a huge uh, array of green, the color green. So you have different shades here. Green is symbolic and it is one of the rare colors, which is uh, green and blue actually, uh, mostly green for both health and wealth. So here we are looking at, uh, let's start from here. In, when we speak about divine order, we are speaking about in the grand scheme of things. So if there is something happening in your life in the third, third week, you need to take a step back and look at it from the perspective of how is this playing in the, in the bigger picture? How is it playing in your life in the bigger picture? So when it, when it is up close, it might not make any sense, but given a little bit of time and space, it will make sense. That's what divine order is all about, right? Um, the healer. So there might be a situation in which you will either have to heal someone else or heal yourself. Remember, you can only heal someone else after you have healed your own self. Healing doesn't always mean recovering from a wound, whether of mind, body or spirit. This can also mean... Uh, working on a coping mechanism, developing on a strategy, a plan to be better tomorrow than you are today, right? And uh, this is a card of grief. So here it's very, very obvious. Um, sadly, unfortunately, for those of uh, you who are pet owners, uh, you might, uh, your pet might fall really, really sick, maybe even lose their lives or close to it. Um, you need to go back to the card, heal yourself, and see in the grand scheme of things what was the what was the idea behind it just ensure that you love your pets doesn't matter if they are sick or not i'm talking about just pure love because remember they give you unconditional love and you are their parent all right um i am going to move to the first week of uh, june um the sorry the uh, the first set of cards from june 16 to 22nd you have the general the general four deck You've pulled out the six of coins or the six of pentacles, the eight of cups, the hanged man and the justice card. There you go. Right. Um, so here, you could be a liberal or dealing with one. That's what this card says. This card also means that uh, in the third week of June, you uh, somebody will be asking you for money or something that is of financial importance. Like... Um, they might, you, they might ask you to loan them some money. They might ask you to loan them something which has monetary value in your life. Could be your vehicle, your, um, uh, your um, assets. So could be your house, your, uh, you know, an expensive item, uh, mobile, anything. Know this, that if this card is showing up in the reading, then it means that it will not be returned back to you in the same shape or form that it was taken. So say you give money to someone, right? You loan money to someone. Please ensure that in a piece of paper that works in the court of law, you write it down so that the money can be returned. Don't go by hearsay. Don't go by, no, I'll return it back on time. 99.9% .9 it won't be. And then you'll be running from here to there. You'll come to, you'll come to a cultist. You'll go to, um, you know, you'll go to people that, you know, my money is stuck. That happened because you did not take the preventive measure. And you went by, no, no, I know him very well or I know her very well. The money will be returned or that item will be returned. So beware of this, okay? Beware of it. Either say no or say you don't have it or get it in paper. Eight of Cups. So something that was of interest to you earlier will not be of interest to you anymore. This could be in your personal or professional life. Uh, it could also be your relationships, of course. So there, some, that some aim that you were pursuing earlier could be a it could be something as simple as a plan that you were trying to realize, maybe a, a trip by the sea and now you feel that your finances don't allow it, your time doesn't allow it, maybe 
you're thinking of a better time when you can go again or it could be um, of a goal you are trying to achieve a goal and uh, or you know trying uh, trying to get close to a person and suddenly you you seem to lose interest in taking the effort so that effort will now be sounding hollow to you and you'll be walking away from it of course you might also be planning a trip by the water the hanged man says that there might be some delays in plans either done by your own procrastination or by the universe remember if there have been delays the term is temporary this is not a permanent position this is just a phase during this time you need to work on your vibes ensure that you maintain a very high vibe because when the time is right for you to get that thing that you've worked towards the vibes will be will have to match the good thing that's coming towards you if the vibe is low the speed will also slow down that's how it works so during this time work on yourself motivate keep yourself motivated to get your keep your vibrational frequency on a high that's going to be the challenge this waiting period can turn to be one of the best things that has happened to you in terms of uh, self introspection right the justice card tells me that you could be a libra not dealing with one this card also means that there might be some legal issues that you might be working uh, towards or working with it could be something as simple as paying your taxes on time don't delay them uh, make sure that it is don't wait, wait for the last moment because you know there might be some glitches and then you know you'll have to pay a fine and then you'll regret and regret is a bad bad thing to do um, instead try and see if you can pay your taxes a little early don't wait for la the last moment this can also mean that if you are going through a litigation a court case uh, then it will probably be uh, moving in your favor could be a divorce could be land could be anything okay all right so this is your general take on the week third week of june 16 to 22nd let's do the second set the second set of four cards is health and you have pulled out the seven of wands the ten of coins or the ten of pentacles the ten of cups and the five of coins or the five of pentacles now if you notice um everything looks really good and then suddenly there's this dive down a cliff let's begin with this so seven of wands you seem to have recently uh enjoyed a victory of sorts it could be anything from a good return on investment a good promotion you know some kind of a victory big or small of course doesn't matter victory is a victory but you're still moving uh on you're not sitting down and you're not enjoying on your past you know enjoying on the reveling in the glory of your past like they say because uh, you are an action oriented person you believe in doing and then receiving so good you this is a good card okay it's a very uh positive forward moving um action oriented card okay ten of coins tells me that you have the ability of taking care of you and yours in terms of monies you're doing, doing pretty well in terms of money you seem to be quite secure in terms of finance your financial uh, obligation seems to be met um, you know on time so everything is really good you see and everyone in your family is let's say happy with the financial condition what you want and desire is separate here we are just talking about all your basic needs are met the 10 of cups uh, here says that uh, you have a very happy family life look how beautifully health and wealth they've come together and this is the deck of health so here they are saying that if you want to enjoy a happy family life you will have to ensure that you are grateful for the fact that the basic needs are met let me just break that down for you if you have food in your belly a roof over your head right and a so and a good uh, comfortable bed to sleep on then that itself is something to be grateful for and then you can work from there do not let yourself go into this and this is the last card which is the moment you start thinking i don't have enough it leads to stress you are sending mixed signals you are sending a very negative vibe out into the universe because of which you will then be attracting more reasons to feel poor and weak in terms of finance um and then uh well the basic overview i'm getting from this is that you should cut your coat according to your cloth so say if uh, you want uh, let me give you a silly example you want to eat in a silver dining set uh what can you afford it if you can great but if you can't 
there's nothing wrong in a steel dining set or a glass dining set right or uh, even a wooden dining set the point i'm trying to make make is you the same food will be going into your stomachs and if you are going to be given a certain amount and if you spend over that then this is how you're going to feel right so that's what i'm talking about here don't let your see how you've slipped you were nice and positive you're working really hard money was great everything was great and then this suddenly somebody said something oh my god you have a car why don't you have a, a fancy luxury car and then don't let someone else decide how you feel and what you think how you feel and what you think is going to directly attract uh, the good things that are coming your way or the not so good things coming your way so remember this spread purely in terms of health means your health will be determined by your thoughts if you have a headache it's not brain tumor right if you're constantly falling sick it's not cancer so don't go into the ex absolute extreme right um, you know if you if you're seeing black it doesn't mean that you have a concussion it because that's what we do we'll google it and then we'll all go crazy and go oh my god this is what's happened and then you manifest absolute rubbish into your life instead please learn to fix yourself your body is a beautiful machine that fixes itself allow it and start by thinking positive i'm not saying you no know, oh no nothing's wrong go for your checkups do whatever it takes but stress is very dangerous and listen even if stress doesn't uh, affect a person now it does come back later because it just keeps accumulating till you know a part of the body is hurting or you know uh, an organ gets affected so on and so forth so don't wait for that de stress meditate do some deep breathing go for a walk do some self positive talk and of course we're always here to conduct dragon spells to help you get better right switch your vibes switch your vibes guys all right let's do the deck of wealth i don't know why but i feel like you all wait for it so here you have a deck of four you have six of coins or six of pentacles this has come before page of cups the temperance card and the king of coins uh you had yeah you had the six in the general reading that's right so so if you remember this card came in the general reading this is the same card so in terms of wealth it looks like that somebody is definitely going to ask you for money or you are going to loan money to someone for sure or maybe a vehicle like i said or a mobile and expensive um you know bobble trinket jewelry piece but something is definitely going to go from you it will not be returned back in the same way and this is bad blue magic this is bad blue magic so when you're giving somebody and you say oh no i feel good when i give money to someone or i give something to someone i know that we have been taught a lot of things but i also know that we need to unlearn a lot of things because this is against blue magic what will happen is you are now you now have to either have a spell done that asks uh, for forgiveness uh, because of breaking rules uh, the rule of blue magic because trust me this person will not give it back the thing that they asked for in the same shape and i've already told you that you should what you should do so go, uh, rewind the tape and play it again because uh, i've already told you what to do in such a situation i will not repeat myself but you need to be extra cautious when this card comes up in your reading page of cups well uh it looks like somebody in your family or somebody you know maybe your friend's daughter or your or a younger sibling but definitely a female energy or feminine energy uh, is going to win some kind of trophy or award or accolade and you're going to be so happy and thrilled to share in the joy please ensure that you you know either reward the person or personally congratulate them send them flowers call them up speak to them pack them up because somehow this is such a good high vibe for you that it will definitely pay you back later and there is always something good in sharing joys of others as your own personal victory okay temperance card tells me that you could be a sagittarian or dealing with one this card also means that there is something in your life which is out of balance so you need to balance it out now we speak about balance a lot but i would also like to add vibrational energy so your vibrational frequency and your balance these are the two things that you need to work on every day throughout the day you'll find over a period of time something is happening during the day a thought that comes creeping into your mind somebody says something something happens maybe physically you know something is happening and your vibes keep fluctuating all you have to do is keep it 
stationary on a high level. It's, it's very, very tough. It's next to impossible, but it's not impossible. And balance. So here we are talking about, are you resting enough? Are you, even everything has balance in life. Everything in balance. You have inhale and exhale. You have, you, you have to inhale, you have to exhale. You can't just keep inhaling or keep exhaling, right? Similarly, if you're working, you have to rest. Or, and if you're resting, there's a limit after which you have to work. Even if you rest for a long period of time, try and sleep for like 20 hours and see, you'll have bed sores. And try and work for 20 hours and see what happens. You'll be so sleep deprived that you'll just try and curl and sleep in the nearest sofa, right? So there's something in your life which is disbalanced. Please figure out what it is. Are you having too much of junk food? Are you talking, are you, are you talking too much and not being able to do anything because you're too exhausted? Are you giving too much of your time to other people? Are you giving too much of time to thoughts that don't really matter? Are you being too negative? Even that is a thing, by the way. Are you overthinking? So look at it. And we all have something to work on when it comes to our own self all the time. So try and focus on that. And believe you me, you will you'll feel better after you address the issue. Don't walk away from it and don't be in denial of it. If somebody has a better life than you, then that is their thing. How do you plan to improve on your life? That's what matters, right? Okay, king of coins, king of pentacles. Don't go by the gender. You could be a female also. This Again, this card is saying that uh, in terms of wealth, you are um, well doing pretty well for yourself. Uh, you are thinking about, you are, you are semi-obsessed with making more money. Uh, you are going to be thinking about how to invest, how to increase your monies, maybe even going for a promotion or how to apply for a job that pays more. Um, in business, you might be thinking about expansion, diversifying. Uh, but this card also means that other people are looking at you and they believe that you can take care of you and yours in terms of money. So it's a good card. I do believe this is a good spread. If you don't feel this way, please get in touch and let's see what we can do for you, okay? Because money-wise, you seem to be quite good in the third week. Of course, remember, the vibes have to be high. And the last set of four cards, we're talking about relationships here. 16 to 20 second viewer, you've pulled out the four of coins or the four of pentacles, the six of cups, the world card and the seven of swords. All right. So uh, we'll start from here. So, well, it looks like uh, you are going to be holding on to your money really tightly. You might even have some work related or you might be thinking about what to do in terms of your property. Could be buying, selling, uh, renting, leasing. Uh, refurnishing, refurbishing, denting, painting, but there's definitely something, uh, even taxes, something to do with property that uh, is going to be happening in the last week. Please address it. It's come in your cards. And uh, also, you're going to be a little tight-fisted in terms of money. Nobody likes a miser. Everybody loves a spendthrift. At the end of the day, the spendthrift, spendthrift hates themselves. So it's always good to be frugal, which means think before you spend. Six of Cups. Uh, so memories and nostalgia of childhood, somebody from the past might uh, pop into your life. Everybody comes into your life for a reason. Um, even if it is not taking something from you, even taking your time is something. And uh, some of us, including myself, have a time paucity. So uh, I have to be very particular how much time I'm spending. And I can't let one amount of time spill over to the other because something else gets deprived right so maybe you are in the same boat so uh, be careful of this because after you get the person used to your company they might not like it when you start uh, pushing them away because you need your me time right um, if you are getting memories of the time when things were better than they are now it's nice to be nostalgic but not to the point of that we reach we all reach a point of comparison oh my god things were so much better than now what have you done you've brought your vibe down the whole idea, whatever you're doing, bring your vibe up. Don't bring it down, right? And if it's a sad thought, maybe uh, linked to something that is traumatic, like I said, comparison, then please get it out of your system. If you can't, get in touch and let's see how we can help you. The world card. So it looks like a phase in your life is about to end or it is about to begin. So you're bang in the threshold. If something good is happening, please express gratitude and enjoy what you've enjoyed so far because... Tough times lie ahead. And if tough times are what you have been going through, know that you're at the threshold. The good stuff is about to begin. So look forward to it. Be excited about it and be proud of the 
challenges that you have faced and walked through fire. This card also means that uh, your karmic baggage seems to be full and, uh, and to the brim. So you need to release that. Uh, please make sure that it is done um, well. And remember, all karmic baggages are released for a year. So see if you're due for it. And the last card for the third week of June for relationships. Uh, well, you have uh, either somebody's cheating on you or you're cheating on someone. Um, and in terms of your relationship, there's something in which you're you're facing difficulty. You need to change your strategy. Maybe the way that maybe you need to be there more for the person. Maybe you are not being uh, your your own self. Maybe you're not letting that person be themselves. But work it out. The strategy that you were trying earlier that you know I'll I'll buy them gifts or you know I'll uh, when I'll call them whenever I need them. It's not working anymore. They're seeing through it. So there you go. That's your spread for relationships. And there you have it. Remember. Uh, this is a general reading. Take uh, what resounds with you and leave the rest right here on my beautiful blue table. I will see you in the next and the last week um, of June uh, 2024. Until then, love, light and knowledge to you all. Be at his essay and Om Sarve Bhavantu Sukhina.